Many people have said I bear more than a slight resemblance to a certain gold medal winning Olympic swimmer. And as much as maybe I and certain relatives would like me to be, I am not Michael Phelps. If I might be so vain, I've always felt more attractive from the neck up and lazily as four years his senior, far inferior from the neck down. He's a chiseled fish of enviable proportions, a ripped and dipped chlorine dream, a one-man school. As for below the belt, that's for Miss Callie to know and for you and me to stop glancing down when a grown man gets out the pool. <laughs> Moving on from these six foot four inch surface similarities, let's talk about how I swore off Subway sandwiches in 2002 and how my idea of eating fresh doesn't exactly involve Dr. Jekyll speckled honey wheat bread with hints of formaldehyde. Besides, my $5 footlongs cost more like 65 each, or roughly $129.99 for a suitable pair of sneaks. It takes quite a bit for my size 12.5s to stay put, especially when Flipper, in his 14, spends most of his time barefoot. Also, I'm a slightly average to below level swimmer. I tend to enter the water face first, and the only strokes I know are the wizardly work of Julian Casablancas on Spotify or happen outside pools in private with me, myself, and I. And my best butterfly, done by a doctor who sealed with stitches the side of my ass after jumping into a pile of glass a friend dumped into my path from a trash can. True story. But I can freestyle, and freestyle well. Not always on beat, but I'm so excited whenever I can compose more flows than a team of Griffith joiners with the witful swiftness of a few tailor-made sister pointers. Actually, that line was a little choppy and took me almost two minutes to compose, whereas Phelps is known to complete 200 meters in just under one minute and 44 seconds. Actually, this speeding rainbow closed Rio, caterpillar cocooning into a three-way tie for silver, so it may be safe to say two other gents are far better picks when it comes to sinking arms and dolphin kicks. Come to think of it, given how often I've come in second, school elections, track events, and especially slams, Perhaps I'm less of an underwater Rocky and so full of bullwinkle, I'm more like Ryan Lochte. But pardon this and that pissing contest. I know some of you are fast losing patience and I've never pissed on a gas station. I've been pissed off at a gas station for its limited drink supply and rare jello. I've just never gone the full Lochte and dyed my hair yellow. The real reason I bring this all up is that while glancing at a screen highlighting Phelps' victories, my stepmother insisted how his life seemed to have really turned around since he got married and had his first child. Whether she was conscious of it or not, given the fact that a seven-year relationship recently ended with someone I truly loved, sans child, nor Isle, I found this to be an insensitive comment. I stayed silent and she went on to say that he's such a good man now, more focused and training harder than ever. Now maybe in terms of his personal life, but as an athlete, Phelps was still a champ with or without the presence of the wonderful Nicole and his beautiful son Boomer. And honestly, who knows what he's really like in the off-season when cameras aren't rolling. I don't suppose he's still toking up in Toyotas or drowning himself in the drink. He does run a pretty great foundation and golfs on the regular. Now look, I got no problem with the party animal partying. Sometimes the intensity one brings to one's passion leaks into everything they do. And Phelps has done an excellent job in keeping those lanes separate. I guess what makes a champion, and specifically him a champion, is not just the genetic gifts he undoubtedly possesses, some of which we share, but his commitment to the highest level of training when it matters most. Whether his current commitment to wife and child has made that easier or more difficult for him to accomplish, who knows? And this is not me copping out of my own commitments. My ambitiously driven ex-fiance spent many years trying to train me into a more focused and financially free fellow, and I eventually floundered. But that completely negates how I was pretty focused and free in the years leading up to us even meeting. And I'm just starting to get that focus and freedom back now. Now, will it all lead me to ever win and earn 20 plus of anything? Probably not. I'm not Michael Phelps. But will becoming more Michael Phelps-like help me in my personal life and career? You bet. So today, at 36, I got a few regrets. And I can choose to see my life from here on out as shriveling prune or as just getting feet wet. Sure, there are plenty of fish, but until recently I thought I was done swimming. And I'm almost ready to go deep again, but I'd like to start with getting a haircut, a decent shave, maybe a steak, en route to becoming a better man. And then I'm more than happy and willing to dry myself off and get hitched on some Caribbean island in the sand, preparing forever and a day for when the water breaks. 
Hell, I don't even need any gold medals, and I'm not looking to settle. I'm looking forward to not just once every four years, but for me, my next true love, an imaginary baby to be, to day in and day out, place each other on pedestals. Thank you. Woo!